Hey guys, Coach Alex here from Physique Development, and today I'm going to discuss a common question that we receive from inquiring clients. How do I grow my glutes without growing my quads or the remainder of my leg? And the first thing that I bring up with all of these inquiring clients is do you really have the quad tissue that you believe you do? Because oftentimes women are going to be carrying a greater degree of their fat tissue in their legs. And so oftentimes it is going to be simply a matter of losing that body fat to see that you don't have as much quad tissue as you may believe. Now, let's say that maybe you do have that much quad tissue. The second thing that we want to speak on is that uh, pure isolation is not necessarily something that we're going to, going to be able to create, nor do we really want to create pure isolation within a movement. For example, if I'm going to pick up my groceries, I want all the musculature in my arms as well as my, my glutes and my quads to be able to pick up those groceries. I don't want my biceps solely working as that's not going to be a very safe environment for my bicep to work. So understanding that we can move a greater bias to a certain musculature, but nothing is going to work in pure isolation. Now, if we're going to focus on movements within the glutes that are going to create greater tension in the glutes, but not allow for the other musculature to reach a, a greater degree of hypertrophy, I'm going to speak on a few movements that allow for us to do so, uh, and then I'll work my way down into movements that are going to have just more of a balanced bias. So the first movement is going to be the barbell glute bridge. Now, when we look at the difference between a barbell glute bridge and a barbell hip thrust, the hip thrust is going to allow for the knees to travel further behind the ankle joint. When we look at a glute bridge, this is going to allow for the knee and the ankle to stay in alignment. The difference here is that when the knee is traveling behind the ankle, this is going to have a greater recruitment of the quads as a whole. When we are allowing for the knee and the ankle joint to be in better alignment, this puts better bias towards the glutes as a whole. The next movement is going to be the 45 degree hip extension. This is a great movement to train the glutes through a full range of motion and allow for you to create great tension through the lengthened and the shortened range. Other movements such as uh, lunge variations, split squat variations, the, the barbell back squat, the RDLs, many great movements, but a matter of getting very, very good at execution is going to be the big piece of the puzzle. So it really comes down to, do you really have the quad tissue that you, you believe you do? And then also, are you really good at the movements that you are utilizing to grow your glutes uh, within your training? So that's my take on growing your glutes without growing your quads.